Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name is Neo. In this video, we are working on my practice hand. This is my Red Iguana practice hand. I've had it for a little bit. She's been through a lot. In this video, actually, I am um, going to be testing out some of the new items that I got in the Young Nails um, mystery box. I bought the $100 mystery box. The video for that unboxing um, is on my channel, but I will link it in a card or down below, so check that out. It was literally a mess, um, but I am going to be using some of the colors that really kind of spoke to me. Some I'm using in a new way, um, but we'll get to that in a second. I'm starting off with Cover Earth. So this is a really gorgeous color that kind of grabbed me right away. I was really glad that I received this color in particular. It's a really kind of just basic tan color, but it just looks so good um, like against my skin tone. I'm always excited to get really good nudes that are brown girl friendly, so this was nice. Um, I'm applying it on two fingers. So one finger is going to be totally nude with the cover earth. Another finger is going to be partially. So like I'm doing now, I'm doing a ombre from the nude brown color to clear or basically nothing. So you saw I dragged it out. I back scraped to just make sure that um, there was no product, you know, running down the length of the nail because I want a glass tip and we're going to have some fun later with this tip. On the middle finger, I'm going to do a full Cover Earth nude nail. I am using the Young Nails Monomer just to tie it in. Pretty much everything that I'm using in this set is Young Nails except for um, the gold foil, the snowflakes, and some of the glitter. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to play around with some of the colors that I got in that mystery box, some of the pigments that I got in that mystery box. Um, yeah, it was an interesting set. I had a lot of fun, you know, playing around with these items and we already know that the Young Nails Acrylic is bomb. It's really great. I swear by the Pore Clear. It's my favorite, well not my favorite clear to encapsulate with, but it's my favorite um, basically Pore Clear. It's the clear that I use for pretty much everything. Um, and yeah, but I'm using actually the speed clear that I got in my mystery box to encapsulate. So if you've watched videos on my channel, you know that I think that the speed clear isn't as clear in terms of clarity as the core clear, but, um, I just made it work because I got another container of the speed clear. So I figured I'd just make it a young nails set. So I'll just let you watch me, um, figure this out for the most part. So in my Young Nails mystery box, I received a crap ton of pigments. I'm assuming a lot of people did because I watched a lot of other unboxing and it seems like they were going really hard with the pigments and the glitters and the tiny acrylics. So I fell in love with the pigments and using them like acrylics with monomer, we get this really gorgeous metallic look. So I wanted to see what that would be like um, working with it on nails in this manner. So I am taking the royal blue pigment that I got. It kind of blew me away. I really love this color especially with the idea of mixing it with the cover earth just the the contrast from the brown and the blue i thought it was really pretty um, but i still wanted it to be a winter set because we are in the winter season so i'm also going in with that glitter so i went in with the dark blue pigment i went in with that periwinkle color um fine glitter and now i'm going in with that I don't know the names and I'm sorry for this but I will link everything down below so you'd be able to look it up and figure it out for yourself but thirdly I'm going in with this gorgeous white glitter that I received that had a blue tint to it and it was really pretty so here's where I think um, I might have been able to do something differently as you saw I applied the glitter and the pigment without any acrylic so they're just it's just like pigment sitting on top of the nail. I did not adhere it in any way. So when I went in to add these snowflakes, like I normally would, if it was just like a regular acrylic set, they weren't sticking to anything. So I took a very, very wet bead of clear acrylic, the Speed Clear, and I dabbed it onto that blue area. And I'm being very careful because the pigment kind of washes away with monomer. So 
Um, I adhered some snowflakes that I got from Amazon, cut them up into tiny pieces, so some purpley ones, it's like a holographic purple, and a white snowflake, and now I'm using some gold foil that I uh, pre-shredded. Um, I got this huge tub from Amazon and I'm never going to need to buy foil ever again. And I'm just going to be applying the gold foil around the edges of the area that I just um, added with the pigment and the glitter and the snowflakes on both sides. So on the cover earth side and around the glass tip. So just remember that the glitter and the pigment that I applied is not adhering to the nail. It is just sitting on the nail because later on it's going to become a whole situation when it comes time to encapsulate. But for now, this looks really pretty, right? So these little chunky glitter pieces that I'm adding are um, vintage silver chunky. They're like glass shards um, of silver glitter that I got from Michaels. It's a Recollections glitter and it's like a vintage silvery kind of color. I thought it would just add a little bit of dimension to the design. Um, in hindsight, it didn't, I don't think it really needed it, but it was, it was cute. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing that on this nail. And it came out really nice. It's pretty. So on the pinky, I am going to be doing a three color ombre, but with no acrylic. Again, I'm using pure pigment and look at the metallic finish you get. Um, I should have mixed it with some acrylic just so it adhered. Um, after encapsulating, the very, very tip top of the cuticle area actually didn't adhere to the tip because there was no acrylic in it. Um, so if you're trying to figure out ways to use your pigment, just mix it with some clear acrylic so at least there's a bit of adhesion or polymerization that can happen. Um, but I basically used the dark blue pigment, the periwinkle colored glitter, and the white slash blue iridescent glitter on the tip so it's a really pretty you know cool kind of ombre i'm adding these snowflakes again with no acrylic i don't know what i was thinking um and so they're just kind of sitting on that wet glitter and pigment and not adhere to anything um so i'm just going to be using some gold foil sprinkling that on there as well as the um yeah so that's me you know lightly dousing some clear acrylic on there but it was washing away the glitter and the pigment so just you know I was figuring it out it was cute but it was it was kind of rough um, and I'm adding the gold foil and I'm gonna be adding some of that silver glitter I'm gonna do the same thing to the pointer finger so I'll just let you check that out And here we are. I mean, it's really pretty. The blues are so pigmented and gorgeous and that iridescent white glitter was so pretty. Um, so next I'm going in with my speed clear, not my core clear like I normally do. And I'm going to be clear capping all four nails. So this nude nail was nothing. It's just regular clear capping, letting gravity kind of do its thing and just, you know, getting it done fairly quickly. I was terrified though to clear cap the other nails just because I knew that the pigment and the glitter hadn't set because I didn't mix it with any clear acrylic so I was like kicking myself but I made it work I think I did um, so yeah just check me check me out doing that but it was rough it was kind of rough
So I figured for my game plan, I would just go as runny as possible. So you'll see that clear acrylic just kind of dripping off the nail. I didn't want to manipulate it too much right away because again, I didn't um, secure any of those previous items to the nail, the glitter, the pigment, anything like that. And I just felt like if I had gone in and started, you know, massaging that acrylic around, I would just move all of that pigment and glitter. So I'm just letting gravity kind of do its thing. And yeah, it came out not bad, uh, but definitely wasn't my smoothest acrylic work. But yeah, for the most part, you know, that's how I made it work. Here's what that application was looking like. And I went off camera and filed, buffed, shaped these nails as best as possible. I'm gonna go in with a glossy top coat and cure for a full minute just to set these nails because I'm going glossy. And for it to be pigment and basically glitter, the coverage was really, really nice. Like Cover Earth is a really beautiful, regular kind of nude color, but I was really having fun with the pigment and glitter. I thought it was really, really pretty. So now I'm just gonna be adding some bling and charms to this nude nail using my Zule Bling Adhesive. Um, and I'm just gonna be having fun with um, these kinds of colors. So clear AB, gold, a little bit of silver, mixed metals, um, which I've become fond of recently. I'm not a fan in real life of mixed metals, but it was kind of cool on this set just because we had the silver and the gold in the design. And yeah, I'm just going to be building up some fun um, sparkle on this nail just to add a little something.
this one was a short one um, nothing crazy happening here just the moral of the story is if you're going to be using pigments or glitters as base color or for coverage on your nail mix it with some clear acrylic just so that it sticks to the nail don't do what i did um, thanks for watching i hope you like this set it is another christmas one i got the snowflakes in there just in time for winter subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next one bye